Kelabonga dudes and dudettes, this is Anthony, aka BatBomb82, and today I'll be doing my 143rd Mezco Toys 112 Collective action figure review, this time being of the Rumble Society Hoods Vapor. Now this is one that's very unique and very special in my opinion, and I'm so stoked to check it out with you guys. But before we crack this thing open, I want to take a closer look at the packaging. Alright guys, so he does come in a tin, uh, like a lunchbox tin, we've seen this before, uh, but this is really cool, I really dig the imagery here, you got an image of Vapor like that in his gear, and this awesome wall, we just threw up a piece of his name, Vapor like that, which is really rad, so I'm digging this, you got the Hoods logo right there too, I think you got the Mezco Toys exclusive emblem right there, uh, and I love this at the bottom here on the sides, uh, you get like the subway train uh, with all the tagging on it all the way around like that. You can see him throwing up a piece right there too, which I think is really pretty cool. So I dig that a lot, man. And the same thing on the back, it's just the same image that we see on the front there. Uh, nothing more on the top, again, just more of that subway imagery, which I think is really nice. So I love this, dude. Um, you know, I'm not too big of a fan of like tins and the lunch boxes. Uh, at this point, we have a very large collection of just like lunch boxes and things like that. Uh, but this is more my style. I'm into this kind of thing. I just think it looks really cool. So I'm all about this, man. So without, well, with this out of the way, let's go ahead and crack this thing open and let them breathe. All right, now here is Vapor out of his container. Now, man, this guy just looks so, you, so cool, uh, so unique. I'm really digging this whole vibe that we're getting with here. Uh, I remember the hood toys back in the day, uh, so I'm so stoked that we're getting a full-on update of these characters in the 112 Collective line, uh, because again, favorite toys, and I'm all about this stuff, man, and to, to be honest with you, I grew up a little hood, man, and, and things like this with this whole artistic theme going on here, it speaks to me spiritually as an artist myself, so this here... I feel like it, it was made for guys like me or people like me who, you know, were uh, quote unquote graffiti artists and street artists and things like that. Uh, so I'm, again, all about this. So you see, he has really has this nice pale blue skin, which is really cool. I do love the fingerless gloves that we do get here. He has a simple blue t-shirt, a very pale blue t-shirt. Uh, then he has some jeans. I love the seam lines on here, the stitching lines. I think it looks really, really cool, so I love that. I love if you even lift up the shirt here. Uh, you can see his underwear peeking through that, so I think that's actually pretty funny. Um, very, uh, I don't know, man. It just, again, just takes me back to... Uh, different era and again it kind of reminds me of the people I know and grew up with you got some really nice kicks here which I think look really cool so I dig these a lot you got a little bit of red trim on the inside you can see that uh, even at the bottom here you got FU on there with some peggles so I think that's pretty awesome so yeah man I'm really digging this a lot again just love even had a little metal buckle right there or a uh, you know, a fastener right there, so that's pretty cool too. I love the head sculpts that we're getting here because they actually do have that flocked hair, so that's really interesting too. But everything about this, man, again, this might not be for everybody, which I totally understand, uh, but for me, dude, again, it just, it just speaks to me on a different level because I'm. Uh, this is the kind of stuff I would draw. This is the kind of character I would draw uh, on uh, like a wall or something like that, or just in my sketchbooks and things like that. So. Yeah, for that, it just it just works for me, man. I really dig it. So moving on to the accessories now, uh, we do get a ton of interchangeable hands. Uh, we got closed fisted hands. Uh, we got type of like spray can gripping hands and things like that. Uh, we got different styles of gripping hands. Uh, we got these hands right here throwing, I don't know, it's throwing the shaka or what, or the, the uh, what do you call it, the hand, hand signing for I love you kind of stuff, so I think that's pretty rad too, uh, what I do like is these hands right here, these new ones with them flipping the bird, uh, now this is nothing new for us who collect Gomez figures, uh, but I do like the style of this one with a thumb out like that, I think that's super dope man, so you just pop those on with that simple ball peg like that and pop that on there like so, and boom like i think that's super cool man that looks rad again a lot of attitude again just reminds me of i don't know man growing up and the people i was around and yeah so i dig that a lot we also do get interchangeable heads here so as you can see we do have the standard head it's kind of just a grimacing face uh just very stoic a little little uh a little bit of an attitude you know what i mean but i love the eyes the paint around the eyes it gives it a little depth uh, it has almost a little bit of an animated feel to it. You know, it does stand out from your other Mezco figures. 
We also do get one of him smiling, which is a really big, creepy smile. But uh, you know what? I, I kind of like it, man. It works for me. So I dig that a lot. We also do get another one where he's freaked out or I don't know what's happening, but those eyes are insane with those spirals. Um, it is just a crazy looking piece, man. So I'm not sure what's going on. I don't know if he's on drugs or what. I don't know. Maybe he's sniffing paint. I really have no clue. Uh, then you get this really awesome angry face with the big gritting teeth. The brow just looks insane. Um, there's just all kinds of things going on with that. So I like that a lot. Next up, we also get, do get the standard Mezco stand here, which is really cool because I love the fact that it's done like a brick wall uh, with the vapor graffiti art like that, the hoods on there, so I think it's really cool. Uh, then, of course, you get the clear articulated arm that comes with all of these figures, so I love that. What's also really nice here is that we do get a really cool sticker sheet or a decal sheet of all this type of graffiti art. You got vapor, hoods. Uh, Mezco, little spray can, all kinds of things like that. So that's really awesome too. Uh, but what I like here, it looks like we have a little silhouette of the other Hoods characters that we could be getting in the future. So I'm, I'm all about that, man. I'm all about having the whole team here, the whole group, uh, the whole, I mean, back in the day we used to call them tagging crews. So maybe that's the whole crew right there. So I love that. So very nice. And you can just take these off and put them on a dio if you want to have a brick wall dio, stuff like that. So I think that's really cool. So I love that, man. So I definitely want to use this for like maybe one of my displays or something like that. So we'll figure it out in the future. Uh, we also do got interchangeable shoes. This is next level stuff, man, because I think a lot of people, and I've seen customizers do customizable shoes and, you know, custom shoes and things like that, uh, but we got some uh, some Tims here, some Timberlands here, you know, I mean, some of those work boots. Again, this is from my era, man, when when the, the work boots kind of became a popular thing to wear. So now we got some Tims here. Uh, we got the M's at the bottom of that. That still looks really cool, too. So I dig this a lot. Now, one thing I will say here, the sneakers look cool and all that. Um, I think I like the work boots better. But look how big the sneakers are compared to the work boots. It is crazy how much larger the sneakers are. It almost doesn't look like they fit him properly. Like he's wearing like two sizes too big of a shoe. Um, these definitely look a lot better in my opinion. Uh, so you can just pop these off with a ball peg and the thing is in here oh my god they're so tight i just do not i do not want to break that peg and you can see the little cup in there you can put them on like so so i'm gonna go ahead and do that uh for you guys and try and do this on camera without messing anything up right here and uh, i just put the wrong foot on did i just put the wrong foot on it's like this. Oh, oh my god this is so scary especially trying to do this on camera man i really oh god what am i doing here oh, okay so i'll take that one off oh. Oh my God, and then put this one on here. Okay, cool, so put the pants back down over that. And yeah, see, these just look more proportionate in my opinion, so I think these actually work a lot better. Um, so I'm actually gonna rock him with these shoes when he's on my shelf, because uh, these were more my things, the boots, I always liked these more. I was never much of a sneaker head, you know, it was never really my thing. Uh, they look cool and all that, so I might just have them display with these in front of him. But as far as like I'm on the shelf, I'm definitely gonna have these again, these uh these quote unquote Tims here. So I think those are really, really cool. Alright, moving on now. Um, we also do get a ball cap, which I think is really cool too. You just pop that on any of the heads and it holds on there very nicely. I dig the colors. It has the NYC actually on there. And I love that's actually sculpted on there, so that's really cool. So I like that a lot. Uh, you could even wear this backwards if you want to. It actually fits on there very nicely. So that's an option for you. Of course, you know, do whatever you want. So I like that a lot. We also do get a set of headphones, which I think is really nice. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if these are Beats. I, I'm not a headphone person, so, you know, that's pretty cool, too. i am always been more of a, a boombox stereo type of person. I never, really, never really rocked headphones all that much. So if you have a boom boom, I think a boom boom would look really cool with this guy. So I love that a lot. Uh, and they do fit over the head like so. They kind of just fit over the ears, and you can get them on there like that. Um, what I also do like is that, like, you can put the hat on. Uh, and then I was, cause I was wondering if I could do like layers, uh, and then you can do the headphones over that like so with the hat on just like so. So if you want to do a combo of the two, uh, it is possible and it looks really cool, man. I dig the style of that. So I'm going to take this stuff off. Uh, what I do, <clears throat> um, am curious about though, and for the future, again, this is all flocking here. When you're put, putting the head stuff on, like the hat and things like that, 
uh, if this stuff is going to eventually rub off, you know, so that is a worry of mine. So I guess time will tell. So just be very careful when you're interchanging parts and things like that, especially with that hair there. We also do got some cutters here. This is awesome. This makes a lot of sense. And look at that. They're actually like functional kind of things. You see that? That is super cool, man. Um, when I saw these, I was like, oh, dude, of course you got to have the cutters. Um, but I didn't realize they were going to be actually functional. So that's really cool. And, uh, you know, for those of you that know, this is like a prime tool for, you know, graffiti artists and things like that. When you got to get into some of those places that you can't quite reach and you got to cut through some fencing and things like that so definitely got to have those so that's genius to even include those one of my favorite things oh, i love this so much dude it comes with a little sketchbook I, I i was trying to see if you could open it but you can't um but it's still cool because i love the little paint splatter and things like that and you can see like the ink bleeding through the pages and stuff so this is fantastic, man. Every artist has a sketchbook. You can see it's a little dinged up. And again, the ink blots and stuff like that. And this just, again, speaks to me. I have a ton of sketchbooks that look just like this. So that is awesome, man. Love having a little sketchbook for this. This is really cool to me. We also do get a full on like gas mask, which I think is really rad too. Uh, for those of you know, when you're throwing them a big piece, you, you can't, you don't want to inhale all those fumes. So you got to put on a gas mask like that. Um, and you kind of want to just put it over the uh, chin first and then pull that like so. And it looks really cool on him, man. I dig this so much. But again, see this right here? I don't want this to eventually tear up that uh, flocking for the hair. So again, I'm really curious to see how that's going to hold up in the future. And I'm trying to be very careful. So uh, again, just be very careful about that. But it looks really cool. Loving the clear yellow lenses and things like that. So that that's pretty rad too. We also do get a bunch of soft goods, man. We got a ball of cloth like this, which you can fit over the head. And you got a little piece right, right there so you can see him peek through his eyes. And you'll see pictures with all this stuff later on. So that's really cool. It fits over there very nicely. We got a red hoodie with actual pull strings. Um, I was trying to see if there's any wiring in here, but there's no actual pulsable bendy wire. So that's really cool too. Um, we get the uh, Marty McFly puffy vest like this in orange. I think that's awesome, man. So does that mean we can get a Marty McFly in the future? Huh? Is it a hint? Huh? Who knows? Got a working zipper there. Uh, this actually does have a bendy wire in it, and it seems like this. And, around, and uh, the collar? No, no, just the collar. Not just the bottom like this. So you can bend that around and do whatever you want with that. So that's really cool, too. I love the colors. And that's one thing I really like. Things very colorful, you know what I mean? As an artist, I love colors. You got the blues, the greens, the oranges, uh, the reds. I mean, it's it's a very vibrant piece, so I love that, man. We got this darker jacket like so, uh, again, with a hood like that, a working zipper. So this is really nice too, almost like a more of like a windbreaker type thing. So I like that, it's really nice. So again, so many options here. You can really play dress up with homeboy. Um, so <laughs> really liking all of this stuff and the options, man. I'm all, more options is always a good thing, never a bad thing. And then of course we do get his back rack right here. I think this is totally rad. I love it. it even has like the netting on the side. I think that's really cool. The little handle, the top, a working zipper. It does have just some foam interest in there. So it holds its shape, uh, but he could hold a lot of his uh, smaller accessories and things like that in there. So I think that's super awesome. And so very, very cool. And then the last things that we do get here. Oh yes, this, yes, dude. I love all of this so much. So you have his spray cans, uh, you got like the paint markers and things like that. You got the blacking, the whiting, this is for like your lining and your outline, your highlights and things like that. And then you got your spray cans like so. I think this is so freaking genius. But what's even better, and I'm gonna try and show this with my fat fingers. Um, these look really freaking cool. You can see it says tough stuff on there. Uh, what's interesting, can you guys hear that? I don't know if you can hear that, but uh, it does have like a little BB in there. So, you know, when you shake a paint, a can of paint like that, it does have that little ball, like a little marble in there to, you know, stir up the paint. Uh, and there's actual like a little BB in there to actually shake that up. That's insane. But what's also really cool is you can actually take off the cap for the thing and then you have that. I think that's super genius. And you can see the little overspray and the bleeding like that. I think it's super cool how they did that. I mean, that's like, that's, <laughs> that is so crazy to me that they really bothered to 
do this much detail for a spray can. And for someone like me, I love this and I respect the hell out of this. So you can take that like graffiti type of hold hand holding like this or the can holding hand and get that on there like that. And then you have that like pose like so. And I think that works so well, dude. Like, damn, I love this so much. Again, for someone like me, and you know, and you may, you may not all understand. You may not all get him. Think, oh, that's cool. It's a graffiti art, whatever. But to me, man, it, it's 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 something special as far as I'm concerned. Uh, but like that's <laughs> super cool. Again, even the other cans. Like, here's a smaller green one. You could take off. Uh, ah, it's a little tight here. Ah, take that off again. See the little overspray of the paint bleeding through from the nozzle. I mean, that's very common here. Uh, it does have a ball in there too, so you can shake that up and like stir the paint around. I mean, even details like you can't see the little ball in there when he's on display. I mean, but that's just something extra that they went ahead and did. And it just feels like a better quality to me. Like that's, that's who does that? So I think this is really rad, man. Everything that we get here is badass. And I'm just very, very happy about this figure. Okay, so now let's run down his articulation here. So the head is on a ball joint. Uh, it does seem the neck is also on a separate ball joint. So you get lots of good motion in there, like so, it does turn left and right. You look up about that much. I wish it was a little more, because I'm trying to get that back in there. Uh, yeah, all, about that much. I wish you could look up more. Down about that much, and then pivot side to side. Arms can go all the way up like that. Down, up, and out that far right there. Um, there does feel a seem to be a butterfly joint in there as well. So you kind of rotate at that cup inside there. Rotation at the bicep. We got double jointed elbows that work very nicely. Uh, we got rotation at the wrist as well as a hinge at the wrist. Let's see, get this back in space right here. Ah, right there. There we go. Okay. So we had a double ball peg at the midsection to the torso. So that rolls around a lot, lots of good motion in there. Let's turn left and right. Uh, crunch back and forth. Crunches back very far, actually. I mean, look at that. That's crazy. And then all the way forward like that. So you get lots of good motion there. And then pivot side to side. Hips can kick up and off. Oh, my God. For that much? That's a lot, even with the soft goods jeans. Uh, back about that much. Do the splits out about that far. You know, that's hindered because of the... Um, fabric here you got rotation of the upper thigh we got double double jointed knees where he can kick himself in his own butt so that works out really good uh, and we got ball pegs of course for the interchangeable boots so those roll around rotate up and down a little bit and a decent ankle rocker so overall man i am thoroughly thoroughly pleased with this and I, again, I feel like this isn't going to be for everybody. You know, maybe you didn't grow up in the hood. Maybe you guys, you know, aren't artists, uh, but you can still respect it. But I think if you come from these areas and, you know, this is your style, this is the kind of things you grew up on, and this is the kind of things you maybe drew as a kid, I can see this as being just a really cool art piece. You know what I mean? For, for those people who grew up in that way and grew up around these things, I think this feels very special. I am so happy the way this turned out. I cannot wait for the whole crew. And man, again, totally badass and definitely a must get. So for a quick size comparison, here he is standing next to a Marvel Legends Deadpool and McFarlane Batman figure. Also for comparison, here he is standing next to a Mezco 112 Collective Pink Skull and Stealth Suit Spider-Man. And just for fun, here he is with Little Lego Bat Bomb. So there it is guys, my review of Vapor. Now I know this is not going to be for everyone, maybe you don't like the aesthetics, maybe you don't like the style, maybe you're not into graffiti and art, things like that, it is totally okay. But even still, I think it's a great, enjoyable figure. The articulation is super well done. Definitely one of the best from Mezco. I love all the different soft goods that we're getting with the different interchangeable sweaters and vests and jackets. I mean, you have a ton of options here. Things like the mask, the ball cap, uh, the headphones. I mean, again, so many display options. It's pretty cool that we get so many that you might even want to have two of these guys to have them displayed in completely different ways. But man, for me, 
I think those spray cans are so special and so unique and almost feel so realistic that I can't believe they even put that much effort into such a small accessory. I think that's super awesome. Now again, these aren't going to be for everyone, but they are for people like me who live and love stuff like this. It's pretty cool getting these in action figure form, and I cannot wait for the whole crew because I am stoked to own every last one of these hoods figures. So please comment, like, and subscribe. Stay nerdy, my friends. Peace.